Now we're gonna activate those ankles. We're gonna be doing heel and toe raises in place, turning on the calves, turning on those tib anteriors. Then we can take that transit. We'll go into some toe walking first, calves, soleus, get that arch going. On the heel walks, we're gonna turn on the tib anteriors, very important for dorsiflexion, sprinting and cutting. And then we're gonna take it, put it all together and go heel, toe walk. We really get the arch helping out here now. Get some balance and stability at the top. So now we got band walks. We'll start with lateral. Think of a slow motion version of a lateral shuffle. Keep the shoulders nice and level, feet straight ahead. Feel this in the outside part of your hip. Make sure to keep a nice rhythm and a gap between your feet. Try not to cheat these. Then we're gonna turn and go into a linear band walk. Have a little bit of a swivel and a push out here. Still keeping shoulders level. So get the hip flexor and glutes going a little bit and definitely get the glutes going on the way back when we do it backwards. So drive back and swivel out. Again, shoulders level, athletic position. Okay, more banded hip activation. We're gonna go out to the front, turn those hip flexors on. Mm, you know, about 10 reps each side is the standard. Then we go lateral, gonna get more of that glute med that we hit in the band walks. Keep that other post leg nice and straight. And then we go posterior, really fire up that glute max. Keep the chest tall on these, try not to swing away from the hip action. So here we got standard glute bridge, trying to drive through the heels, try not to hyperextend the low back. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Once we progress this, we can keep an isometric at the top and do a march. That's where we're slowly going to extend the lower leg out, keeping the knees next to each other. Isometric contraction on the hamstring and glutes. Next, we're gonna do some bird dogs. Best to start with one side at a time. So bring that elbow to knee under, get some thoracic mobility, and then extend the heel and the fingertips out in front of you. And we'll switch sides. So remember, elbow to knee, big reach. Make sure to dorsiflex the back leg and drive with the heel, not the toe. And then for a little coordination and more of a warm up style, we can just go alternating. So get a good one, come back to middle, go right into the other side. Okay, so next we're gonna go the opposite of a bird dog. We're gonna do our dead bugs. Key is keeping that low back pinned on the ground. Make sure that transverse abdominis stays firing. We get some coordination here by moving contralaterally, opposite arm and leg. We can go into alternating, that'll challenge the nervous system and the brain a little bit, great for the warm up. And then we can add a little resistance by throwing a Swiss ball in here, force that hand and opposite knee to keep tension, drive into that same action. Shoulder band activation, we're gonna go external rotation first, drive those elbows in, squeeze the shoulder blades, there we go. Now we're gonna go some horizontal push-pull. The key is keeping some tension between those wrists the whole time and being delivered on the pullback as well. Then we go vertical with it. So think of an overhead press and then uh, a chin up on the way down. Really engage the lats, drive the elbows down. Again, tension against that the band. And then we're gonna go oscillating pulses. This is a good burner, so constant first against the band as we go overhead what we want to do is make sure we don't flare those ribs up so we keep those ribs down try not to arch the low back this is a great ab activation as well keep the pulse between if you do about 10 of each of those in a row you'll be ready for any upper body strength work now we're going to go into some walkouts get the shoulders and the anti-extensors of our ab region turned on, keep those hips nice and level, walk those hands out nice and far, actively pick the hands up to come back, plant those heels, we get a little hamstring and calf stretch on the way back. So here we got scap retraction, push-ups, keep those elbows locked, we're trying to spread those shoulder blades, turn on those serratus, don't let the hips sag, we also get a little bit of anti-extension warm up here all right next we're going to hit some wrist mobility if we're going to do any cleans or uh, kettlebell work it's imperative to get these guys warm first we're starting with some circles 
Make sure you hit both directions. There we go. And then we can bring that into a prayer stretch. So keeping the palms together, drive those hands up and down. And then we can add some pushes against with the hands. That Next, works. we're gonna warm that neck up a little bit. We're gonna do some anterior half moon. And then we'll take that into full circles. Keep those shoulders still, really hinge the head around the neck. Go a couple each direction. All right, so here we got shoulder rolls. We're gonna retract, shrug and roll them forward. Then we're gonna switch directions. Notice Derek's keeping his head nice and still. Trying to get some action between those shoulder blades and then activate some of those trap and levator muscles. Good. Next, we're going dynamic for the shoulders. We got arm swings. Supinate those palms on the way up and down. And then we're gonna take it into arm hugs. Open up the front side and back side of the shoulder capsule. You can be ballistic on these. We're trying to create some warmth in those shoulders. Good. So now we're looking at trunk circles. We're kind of gonna disassociate, keep that lower body pretty still. Draw circles around the hips with the torso. We'll get a couple one direction and then we switch directions. There we go. And then we're gonna stand up tall, throw those palms forward and just do some big rotations, call these trunk twists. Open up the hips, open up the thoracic. So on the sprinter mobility drill, we're trying to open up the belly of the hamstring of that front leg. We're gonna get about five to 10 each side. You're trying to drive your hips up to the ceiling. Hand and feet placement can be adjusted depending on your hamstring flexibility. And again, you're trying to feel that in the middle of the hamstring of the front leg of your stagger.